You know, I'm an NLP master prac, and it's like NLP, but not so manipulative, and it's like NLP on steroids. Uh, so this, this works better than anything I have ever found uh, in 30 years. I'm Debbie Talalay, and I'm a theta healer, and I'm going to tell you about one or two of the people who come to see me. There was this beautiful lady who came to see me, beautiful looking, lovely, luscious, thick hair. And she was not terribly friendly. I think she'd won me in an auction. And, and uh, I wasn't quite sure why she was coming. <laughs> anyway, she did come. And she came, turned up one day and she said, I'm your poster girl now. And I said, really? How, co <laughs> how, how come? And she said, well, um, you know the work we did? My psoriasis in my head went overnight. Now, she'd had the psoriasis for 25 years and nothing, nothing had shifted it. And it went overnight, which in itself is a miracle because the body can heal itself that fast. Now, this was a Roman Catholic belief, which was very strange because this woman was Jewish Presbyterian. But never mind. <laughs> We think of the mind and body as separate. In fact, we have doctors from the neck up and another set of doctors from the neck down. But actually, whatever happens in the body has a very profound effect on the mind, and whatever happens in the mind has a very profound effect on the body. And in fact, if the mind can't deal with something, if it's too much for it, what it will do is store it in the body. It will download it for storage so that it can deal with it another time. And then because it's not feeling the pain, it forgets about it. And so what starts off as unease then develops into disease. I'd like to tell you a story about another of my clients, a girl called Charlotte, who came to me as a homeopath for years, and she made a real meal of every exam she ever sat. She was sick, she couldn't revise. Um, if she did, she couldn't remember it, she couldn't think straight. She became ill with it, her family became ill with it, and it was torture for everyone. Well, she managed to get through her GCSEs, and then she started on her A-levels, and her mother asked me to have a look at her and by then I'd started to do theta healing and she'd got A's in all her A levels and she'd got a place in university so at the end of her third year in university we went through something similar so I saw her for another hour and I got in that session what I'd missed in the first session which was she had a younger sister and the younger sister was very beautiful this girl was also pretty but very beautiful and she did chemistry, no effort at all. She got A stars in absolutely everything. Revising was not a problem. And Charlotte realized that she was always going to be second best. She was always going to be the one who couldn't, the one who didn't quite. So what she decided to do, absolutely subconsciously, was if she couldn't make her mark doing it that way, she was going to fail spectacularly. And that is exactly what she'd been doing for some years. So we dealt with that. And lo and behold, I got her mother on the phone who said, Debbie, Debbie, is Chrissy here? Charlotte's got a first. I can't believe it. She can't believe it. No one can believe it. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that, should I? Anyway, all her friends want to come and see you now. But it's a bit late for them, isn't it? So <laughs> And we checked him out, and he was not all right at all. He was highly distressed, and the whole thing came pouring out. And all they'd done was shove it under the carpet. So we spent the next 40 minutes doing some of the issues around post-traumatic stress disorder. And when he came back to me the next time, he said, I feel so much better. I feel as though a weight has been lifted from me that I didn't even know I had. He said, my relationships are better because I'm not so defensive. And you've got to do something about those poor girls and boys who are out there in war zones. And I'm going to introduce you to the head of combat stress who's a chum of mine. Well, that's another story. The good news is that though many of us are in highly stressful situations, it's mostly not quite as bad as post-traumatic stress disorder. It's terribly important what we think and believe. It's terribly important to, to access our unconscious minds and find out what it is that we're carrying and how it's affecting us and most of it you won't recognize so my answer to stress is the way to eliminate it is to recognize and clear the fears and beliefs that form the foundation of your unconscious mind and I'm going to show you now how you can do that 
So I do something called theta healing, and with that we do something called kinesiology, which is harnessing the energies of the body. So the best way to do that um, and to not override the results is body dowsing. So if you would mind standing, please. Think back to a time when you were newly in love and everything you said was witty and fascinating and you can do no wrong. Okay, and how wonderful that felt. There's your belief, there's the other person's belief, and everything's wonderful. Now think back to someone who doesn't care for you very much, or who is angry with you, who expects nothing from you, and how difficult it is to change that energy, to make them think better, how difficult it is to get out from under their yoke. If you do want a session, you feel the distance is too great, I do it by Skype as well. Lots of people by Skype or FaceTime. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.